All together, inhale, bring hands together at heart center. And let's share the pranava three times. Take a breath in. Oh. Oh. sharing the longer version of the Guru Mantra one time. Take a breath in. Guru Brahman, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Shasha Param Brahman, Pass my Shri Guru Venamaha, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And on your next exhale, go ahead, open your eyes, release the hands. Let's come into Vajrasana. Now, like we've been doing in the last couple of days, from a neutral tabletop, at some point we will, will, we will be extending our legs out to the side. So uh, locate yourself on your mat so that you have room to do that. From Vajrasana, let's open up those knees and come into child's pose. Child's pose is really a great pose to start warming up the ankles, knees, and hips. Also wonderfully supportive for the back. Use any props you need underneath your butt, by your thighs, or even underneath your head. If shoulders allow it, extend those arms in front of you and then relax. Hold here for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come right up to your neutral tabletop. You may need to close your knees a little bit. Now your hands are going to be directly underneath your shoulders. I'm widening my stance just because of my elbows. From here, cow and cat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, come into cat. Initiate from the pelvis, round up, tuck chin. Inhale, and exhale. Two more times, warming up the back. Inhale, also warming up the abdominal muscles. Exhale, as we do that pelvic tilt and come into cat. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Come into your neutral tabletop once more. Take that right leg, extend it out to the side. As best we can, we'd like the foot to be pointing forward so that it's parallel to the short side of your mat. We're still in our neutral tabletop. And here we do the same thing, cow and cat. Inhale, look up, drop the belly, and exhale, pull the pelvis in, tuck the chin, run the back. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Return to neutral tabletop. Let's bring that right knee back in. And extend the right leg behind us. Inhale, extend the right leg behind you, square the hips. Feel that nice lengthening down the right front side of the body. Hold here. Four, three, two, and one. Now this is something new, that right leg is still up. 
floating over the mat. Inhale and open that right leg to the right. And then gently bring it back down to the mat. From here, release the hand, stand up on that left knee. So now we have a gentle opening on the right side of the hip. Nice neutral position of the left hip flexors. Inhale, arms up on the line. Exhale, left side bend. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, right side bend. And gently floating my arms up and down. Inhale, back to center, arms are on the line. And exhale, left. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left. Hold here on the left side. Lengthen the torso, shine the heart, drop the shoulders. Gaze is underneath your right armpit. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, opposite side to the right. Keep lifting through the torso. Gaze is through the left armpit, drop the shoulders. There's a tendency to sit back sometimes in this pose. Keep your hips in a neutral position as best you can in line with your knees. Hold here, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, let's release your hands down to the mat, neutral tabletop once more. Use the core as you inhale, bring that right leg up off the mat, and then swing it behind you. Hold here, don't let the belly fall down. You're still in a neutral tabletop. Exhale, bend that right knee and bring it back down to meet the left. Left side, inhale, extend the leg behind you. Do your best not to let your belly drop here. You wanna engage the core. How do we do that? Slight pelvic tilt forward, remember? From here, as you inhale, swing that left leg to the side and then gently bring it down on the mat. Check the position of your left foot. From here, cow and cat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, initiate with the pelvic tilt right into cat. Inhale. Then exhale. Inhale. Then exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Come back to neutral tabletop. And then inhale, release the hands and we're standing up on that right knee. Side bends here, inhale, arms up on the line. As you exhale to the right. And come back and exhale. Again to the left. Inhale, come back to neutral. And exhale to the right. Inhale, back to neutral. And exhale, left. Let's do two more. Inhale. And exhale. Gently moving those shoulders, warming them up. Inhale to center. And exhale, left. One more each side. Inhale, center. Exhale right, inhale center, exhale to the left, all right, inhale center, and exhale right and hold. Gaze is through the left armpit, doing our best to maintain the right hip over the right knee. Hold here. Four, three, 
two, one, inhale back to center, and exhale to the left. Really stretch that torso. Try not to let your hips fall backwards. Gaze is through the right armpit. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, let's come back. Arms on center. Exhale, release the hands down to the mat in your neutral tabletop. Use your core. Inhale, lift that left leg off the mat. Swing it behind you and extend it behind you. Hold here. Square the hips. Lift the belly. Hold here. Exhale, bend that left knee. Bring it back to meet the right and sit back on your heels, child's pose. Sitting on our heels in Madrasana, lift the head, lengthen the back. Inhale, slide the hands back until we're sitting on our heels, hands resting lightly on the thighs, roll the shoulders up and back. Inhale, let's rise up so we're standing on our knees. A little bit of a side bend with the back bend. Inhale, the right arm up. Stay here, roll the shoulders up and back. Inhale, grow tall. And as you exhale, it's a small side bend to the right as you bring that right arm behind you reaching for your heel, the right heel. Now you can lift your feet up so that you're on your toes. Push the hips forward as we do this. From here to come out, open up that right palm. Inhale the right arm up behind you. And now face forward and release the hand. Left side, inhale, left arm up. Stay here, roll the shoulders up and back. Inhale, first grow tall. As you exhale, small bend, side bend to the left, or, and then reach for that heel. Push the hips forward. And come out, open up the left hand, inhale the arm up behind you. Face forward and release. Inhale, right arm up. Hold here, exhale. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, small twist to the right, reach back, push those hips forward and reach for that right heel. To come out, open up that palm, inhale, arm up behind you, face forward and release. Left side, inhale, arm up, hold here. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, small twist to the left, Reach back, push those hips forward. And come out, turn the palm up. Inhale, come back up. Face forward, hands down. Let's do it one more time each side. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, hold here. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, find that twist to the right. Push the hips forward, reach back for the heel. Inhale, come back up, face forward, release. Left hand, inhale, arm up, and hold here. Inhale, grow tall, and exhale, reach back. Coming out, inhale, reverse. Reach forward. Hands down, exhale, sit on your heels. Stay right here, Vajrasana. Find your position on the mat so you can sit in Vajrasana at the lower edge of your mat so we can reach forward. Open the knees wide. From this position, child's pose, simply slide the hands forward. Rest the forehead on the mat. Hold here.
Short count, four, three, two, one. Coming into a low squat, bring those toes underneath you so you can lift your butt to bring the toes underneath. And then slide the hands back, push and come into your squat. Now, if your knees are bothering you, you may be pushing right into a 90 degree angle with your knees um, over your ankles, or you may be lower. Hold here. As you inhale, lift the head, bring the hands to the heart, widen the knees as best you can. Even if you're up high, you can still do that. As you exhale, lower the hands to the mat, slide them forward, keep the knees bent. You're in a downward facing dog with your knees bent. Drop the head. Lengthen the back, hold here. Four, three, two, one. As you exhale, drop the hips, slide the hands back and you come back into your high squat or low squat, they're both good choices. Hold here. Inhale, hands to center, lift the head, widen the knees. Exhale, release hands down to the mat, slide them forward, downward facing dog, keep the knees bent. Four, three, two, one, without compromising the angle of your shoulders or your back, gently straighten those knees if you can. If not, don't worry about it. Hold here. Four, three, two, one. As you exhale, gently bring the knees down to the mat. Release the feet, child's pose. Four, three, two, one. As you inhale, go ahead, sit onto your heels in Madrasana. And let's come to our feet, this time at the top of your mat. All right, we're at the top of our mat in Tadasana. Toes, heels, knees, hips, lower back, extend torso, shine the heart, drop the shoulders. That is a neutral position. And let's begin with a nice, easy sun salutation. Open up the palms to the sides. Inhale the arms up. At the top, look at your hands. Hands together, exhale to your heart. Inhale the arms up and continue for a small back bend. Exhale, forward fold any way you like. Inhale, step that right foot back for a right lunge. So put the right knee down. Inhale, step the left foot back and then exhale right into your downward facing dog. Hold here for one inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin or puppy pose like I do. Inhale, cobra or sphinx. Let's hold here. Really think about the technique. Switch your breath to lateral breath through the rib cage. Hold here for two. And one. Inhale, plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's hold this. For four, three, two, and one. Looking at your hands, inhale, bring that right foot forward into a lunge. 
Exhale, step the left foot forward and do a forward fold. Bend your knees, inhale, rise up for a back bend. And exhale, return. Left side, inhale, arms up. Hands together, look at your hands. Exhale to your heart. Inhale for a back bend. Exhale, forward fold any way you like. Inhale, step that left foot back. Left knee down, you're in a lunge. Inhale, step the right foot back. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's hold here for another inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale to cobra. Hold here, switch that breath. Think about your technique. Hold here for two. And one. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Looking at your hands. Inhale, bring that left foot forward into a lunge. Exhale, right foot comes forward into your forward fold. Then knees, inhale, rise up from back bend. And exhale, return. Release the hands down. A nice side bend to the right and left. Open up the palms, inhale, arms up. At the top, hands together, relax the shoulders. Review your foundation and then inhale, grow tall. And exhale, nice side bend to the right. Gaze is through the left armpit. Hold here. Holding here for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come to center. Once more, review your foundation. Inhale, grow tall, and exhale to the left. We're doing our best to keep equal weight on both feet, keeping our hips nice and square, releasing tension on the right side to find that nice lengthening here. Hold here for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, release the hands down. Chair pose. Inhale, scoop the arms up, even as you sit into your chair. Once you're down in your chair, look down. Make sure you can still see your toes. Then bring the head back to neutral. Really widen those armpits out to the side. Extend through the fingertips. Hold here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, forward fold anywhere you like. Inhale, step that right foot all the way back. Come onto your knee to lunge. Inhale, step the left foot back. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's hold here for one inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, a puppy pose. Inhale to cobra or sphinx. Hold here, lateral breath for two, and one. Inhale to plank. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for four. Three. Two. And one. Looking at your hands, inhale, step the right foot forward into your lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, inhale, rise up for back bend. Exhale, return. Left side, inhale, arms up. Hands together at the top and exhale to your heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold as you like. Inhale, step that left foot back, left knee down, lunge. Inhale, step the right foot back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's hold here for one inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Feel those ribs expanding to the side as you soften the belly for two. And one. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for four. Three. Two. And one, looking at your hands. Inhale, step that left foot forward into your lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, rise up for a back bend. And exhale, return. Hands are on hips. Small balance position. Simply bringing the right knee to, in front of the right hip. So as you inhale, switch your weight to the left foot and bring that right knee in front of the right hip. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. One stepping back for warrior one. As you inhale, step that right foot back, toe, heel, straighten both knees. Find your balance in between the both legs. Release the hands, inhale, arms up. Hold here. On your next exhale, bend that front knee in your warrior one. Take a look down. Make adjustments to your position as needed and hold. Now remember, we haven't done this in a while. Engage those inner thighs. How? By really thinking about lifting the arch on both legs and then a nice awareness of external rotation of the knee and opening the hip. It's here for four. Three, two, one. Gaze stays the same. Front leg stays the same as we open up into a warrior two. I'm still looking over my left hand now. The gaze never changed. I just opened up that back hip. So warrior two here. Hold, four. So let go of those, that inner thigh engagement. Two. One, coming into a front straddle, inhale, arms up, swivel on both feet, exhale, swan dive down, and hold. You may need to adjust your feet so that they are parallel to one another. Go ahead, hold here, longer count, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, coming up halfway. As you inhale, you lift the head, lift the torso, you're halfway up, hands are still pointing down towards the ground. Now inhale, extend the arms to the sides, palms down, roll the shoulders up and back. Hold here. Do your best not to sit back in this position. Keep your hips over your heels for four, three, Two, one, inhale, let's rise all the way up. 
Stay here at the top, coming right into a warrior two to the right. So my left foot should be parallel to the mat. Simply lift up those right toes, point them towards the right side, square the hips and exhale, bend that knee and come right into a nice warrior two. Hold here. Engage those inner thighs. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now the gaze stays the same as we come into warrior one. So for the transition, inhale the arms up and then just turn that back hip in and you come into warrior one. You may need to adjust the distance between your feet. That back foot, instead of being parallel to the mat, you may want to turn it in 45 degrees. What we're hoping to find here is that our hips are squared towards that bent knee. And a lot of that, it's not just the hip that we need to open, it's the hip flexors, but it's also the ankle joint. Both here, four, three, two, one. Inhale, step forward, right back into Tadasana, and exhale, release your hands down to the sides. Balancing on the right standing leg, bringing the left knee up to float in front of the left hip. As you inhale, shift your weight to the right, and let's bring that left hip, left knee up in front of the hip. Hold here, four, three, two, one, hands around hip, stepping back to warrior one. Inhale, step back, left foot, left toe, heel. Straighten both knees. Release the hands to your sides. Open the palms. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale, come into warrior one. Bending that front knee, suddenly those shoulders down. Both here. Opening up into warrior two. Take a breath in as you exhale. Warrior two. Days never change, but I did open up my back hip and move the position of my back foot. Transition to forward straddle. Inhale, arms up. Swivel that back foot in. Come down halfway. As you exhale, swan dive down. Come down halfway. Hold here. Figure out where your hips are. From this position, find your right hand. And as you exhale, you bring the right hand down towards the left foot. Small spinal twist here. Inhale, release that right hand back up on the line. Take a breath in. As you exhale, left hand comes in the direction of the right foot. Inhale. Bring that left hand right back on the line. All right, we'll do that again. Take a breath in, exhale, right hand to left foot. Inhale, come back up on the line. Exhale, left hand to right foot. Inhale, back up on the line. Exhale, right hand to left foot. Inhale on the line. Exhale, left to right. Inhale, back on the line. And exhale, both hands down to the mat, lower the head, forward fold. Let's hold this for four, three, two, one. Walk your hands to the right foot. Head to right knee. Hold here. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, walk your hands to center, continue to the left side, head to left knee, hold. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, walk those hands to center and to the right foot, head to right knee, hold. For four, three, two, 
One, inhale, walk those hands to center and out to the left side, head to left knee. Hold, four, three, two, one. Inhale, just to center, hold here. Roll those shoulders up and back so they're not hanging up by your ears. Hold here for four, three, two, one. Reverse swan dive to come up. Lift the head and lengthening the back. Inhale, extend the arms out to the sides. Palms down, roll the shoulders up and back. And then inhale, rise all the way up. Hold your arms here. Warrior two towards the left side. So open up the left toes, square the hips. And exhale, right into warrior two, looking left. Engage those inner thighs. Transition to warrior one, inhale, arms up and square the hips forward towards that bent knee. You may have to switch the position of your back foot. Hold here. Inhale, step forward into Tadasana. Exhale, release the hands down. So the salutation with a few variations that we've done before. Inhale, arms up. At the top, look at your hands. Exhale to your heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold as you like. Inhale, step the right foot back for pyramid. So you're only stepping back a few feet. Both feet are pointing forward, square the hips. On your next exhale, head to shin. Inhale, look up. As you exhale, the right knee comes down into a lunge. Hold here in your lunge. Hamstring stretch. As you exhale, sit back, straighten that left knee, left toes come up. Hold here for four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back to the lunge. Once you have your balance point, release the hands, lift the torso. Inhale, both arms up. At the top, hands together, exhale to your heart. Spinal twist to the left. Inhale, right elbow to the knee. Stack the hands, lengthen the back. Hold here for four, three, two, one, inhale back to heart center with the hands. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat on either side of the left foot. Inhale, step back and exhale right into your downward facing dog. Let's hold here for one inhale. And then exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale to cobra. Switch the breath, hold here, two, and one. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold, four, three, two, and one. Looking at your hands, inhale, step that right foot forward. Hold here. In control, coming right up to a supported warrior three. So curl the toes under of the left foot. As you inhale, you shift your weight forward, bring a little weight onto your hands, gently bring that left leg up behind you, square the hips. Nice supported warrior three. Hold here. Four, three, two, and one. Exhale, bring the leg down right into your forward fold. Bend the knees and then inhale, rise up for a back bend. And exhale, come back to center. Left side, inhale, arms up. Hands together, exhale to your heart. Inhale for a small back bend. 
Exhale, forward fold. Pyramid, inhale, step the left foot back, left toes are pointing forward, square the hips, and then exhale, head to shin. Let's hold here for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift the head. As you exhale, slide that left foot back, left knee down into a lunge. Hamstring stretch. Exhale, go ahead, sit back. And let's feel that nice lengthening on the right hamstring. Hold here. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come back to your lunge. Find your balance point, release the hands, lift the torso. Palms open, inhale, arms up. At the top, hands together, and up to your heart. Spinal twist here. Inhale, left elbow to the right knee. Stack the hands, lengthen the back. Hold here. Bring the, bring the shoulders away from your ears so you have a nice long neck. Hold four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back to center, hands at heart. Inhale, arms up, extend up towards the sky. Exhale, release the hands down to the mat. Inhale, step back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for one inhale. And then exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale to cobra. Hold here, switch that breath. For two. And one. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold. Four. Three. Two. And one. Oh, I forgot where I was. Lunch. Okay, look at your hands. Inhale, bring that left foot forward. Stay here for one exhale. Curl the toes under of your right foot. In control, inhale, let's come to that nice warrior three. Square the hips. Hold here for four, three, two, one. As you exhale, release the right foot down right into your forward fold. And then bend the knees and inhale, rise up for a back bend. Exhale, return. Release the hands here, roll the shoulders up and back. Close your eyes, review your Tadasana. Nice soft breaths. And then exhale, open the eyes, release the pose. Let's come onto our back. Extend the arms out to the sides. Both legs are active. Only the left knee will rise up towards the chest. All together, take a breath in. Exhale, feel the contraction, feel the tilt, and the left knee comes towards the chest. In this position, spinal twist to the right. Take a breath in. As you exhale, roll over that right hip, you look left. Remember, if you have a nice flexion in both ankles, it keeps the knees in line with the hip. Hold here. It'll be a slower count of eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
Take a breath in. As you exhale, feel that contraction tilt and float to center. Stay right here. Simply inhale, bring your hands to the left knee. Exhale, left knee towards the chest. Do your best to square the hips. Don't simply let the left buttocks come up high towards the, in the direction of the head because then we're not opening the hip at all. This buttocks has to stay down, hip points in line, and then draw the knee towards the chest. Relax the shoulders down, head is in neutral position. So we're consciously relaxing through the hips and the buttocks, especially on the left side. Four, three, two, one. As we exhale, extend the leg up towards the sky. Perhaps we're holding the leg underneath the thigh, the calf, the ankle, or even the toes. Again, resist the temptation to lift that left buttocks up. Leave it where it is and let the lengthening come out of the hip joint. Sorry, I've got mosquitoes again, so I'm kind of moving, but I hope you can stay still. Hold here. Four, three, two, one. As you exhale, release the hands and release that left leg in control all the way down to the mat. My arms are now extended out to the sides, palms up, left leg is active, bringing my right knee towards the chest. All together, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, feel that tilt, and then bring the right knee towards the chest. In this position, spinal twist over to the left, take a breath in. And as you exhale, roll over the left hip, you look to the right. Again, don't worry if your foot or your knee doesn't touch the mat. You can always put a block underneath there for comfort so that you can fully relax into this nice twist. When we do supported twists on the mat, it's all about letting gravity do the work as we focus on releasing tension. So we just have to get out of our own way and let nature happen. Let's hold this. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back to center, take a breath in, exhale, contract, tilt, roll to center. Hold here, relax that right hip. Inhale, hands to the right knee and exhale, deepen the pose. Keep relaxing the right hip as you bring the knee towards you. Relax the shoulders down. Chin is in neutral. Hold here. For four, three, two, one. Okay, keep the right hip nicely relaxed. As you exhale, extend the leg up towards the sky. Hold. For four. Three. Two and one. As you exhale in control, release the arms to the sides and gently bring that right leg down. Feel how you're hinging out from that right hip as you slowly lower that leg. Good, let's keep both legs active and very slowly understanding how these hip flexors work that once I've done that small pelvic tilt and I've engaged the core, I can in control lift one leg 
and lower the leg at the same time. So let's practice this. Let's put our fingertips right on that hip crease so you can feel that. You can put your thumb on the bottom of your last, last rib. Left leg first, all together. Take the breath in, exhale, contract, fill that tilt. Now just lift the left leg up. Only to the point where you can extend the leg up without lifting or engaging the buttocks or the lower back, wherever you're comfortable for this. As you exhale, gently lower back down. Take a few breaths as needed. Now, hopefully we don't feel any tension in the lower back because we've engaged the core. So that's already set. There shouldn't be a lot of movement there. All right, let's do the right side. All together, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, feel that tilt. Maintain that awareness as you lift the right leg up. Only go to your point of flexibility. Exhale, release down. You see, if you keep that awareness on that pelvic tilt, it's so stable in the lower back, nothing's moving. You just feel a nice hinging at the hip. Let's do it again on the left side. Take a breath in. Exhale, contract, feel the tilt. Keep that awareness as you lift the left leg up. Okay, awareness. Exhale, release now. Right side, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, extend leg up. Keep awareness on that tilt as you exhale and extend the right leg down. Beautiful, and relax. All right, I think we have time. Why don't you get your block? We're going to put it underneath. We can do a short one. So get your block, put it underneath your um, lower back and coccyx in between there. So we get a nice stretch of those hip flexors. Now remember, as you come down on your block, you want to be careful that your lower back is not in any kind of stress. So you have to move your block either towards your tailbone or towards your head so that when you feel comfortable, you can extend both legs down and feel <coughs> a nice <coughs> lengthening here through the hip. You almost feel it from the mid thigh to the hip to just below your rib cage. Now let's keep our legs active and have a small flexion in the ankle. If you're feeling comfortable here, release the arms up overhead and behind your head, the back of your hands on the mat. Your neck should be in a nice neutral position, maybe chin towards the chest a little bit. Let's hold here. So it's up to you to find that point where you feel the lengthening in the front of the body without compromising your lower back. And that just depends on the height of your block. Hold here. Close your eyes. And then a nice little counter stretch is bring your hands back to the block for stability. Bend both knees, plant the feet. Now only if you feel good and you feel nice and stable, 
Take the left knee, bring it up in the direction of your head, lifting the left foot off the mat, and then do it with the right. And as long as you feel stable on your block, you bring your knees towards your head at whatever position is comfortable. It's a little hard. So there's a little more weight now across the shoulders. It's a nice counterbalance. And then if you feel really good and in balance, you can simply lift your hips and push the block away or come all the way down and then push the block away. From here, we simply lengthen the legs down, release the hands, palms up by our hips, and we're in Savasana. Gently with mindfulness on the mental activity, not only the physical activity, let's come out of Savasana to bring our hands to the lower belly, feel the rhythm of your breath. And then mindfully expand the focus to movement of the body, fingers and toes, Ankles, wrists, knees and hips, shoulders and spine. Gently roll the head from side to side. And then let's roll over on our side. So while you're in this position, just a reminder that the hip flexors of which the psoas is, is one of the bigger muscles. Uh, to reiterate that psoas starts at the lumbar vertebrae, so on your, in your back, on the backside of the body. And then it goes through the pelvis and inserts into the big quad muscle in the front of the body. So that means that the hip flexors not only control front and backward movements of your leg, it's also the lateral. So when we were warming up with cow and cat with our legs um, extended to one side or when we were doing warrior twos, we were also toning the hip flexors in a lateral way 
versus the more traditional when we think about just lifting the leg um, in front or in back of us. So even when we do a side bend, there is um, connection with the, the hip flexors because we have a lateral bend. All right, from here, go ahead, exhale and push up. Let's come to a nice seated position to finish our practice today. Hands are in chin mudra, nice relaxed hips. Lengthen the torso up, relax the shoulders. That is a neutral position. Nice big breaths, letting the belly be soft, the chest is soft. All together, inhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath in. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Exhale, bind down to the teacher within. And inhale, come up. 